that rest. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Sue, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Tetris games for the GBA. The first one, Tetris Worlds, is great. It's the classic Tetris experience, but with extras. You get plenty of game modes, and they make the experience different. Cascade makes Tetris easier, making any block only cohesive to itself. In Sticky Tetris, you need to match the colors. You don't clear lines, you clear only when colors match. Fusion Tetris adds this atom blocks in the lineup and you need to destroy the blocks so that all the atom blocks form a line and get destroyed and the line is usually at the bottom. And Hotline Tetris is about clearing, clearing as high as you can, meaning that if you risk to make combos higher on the screen, you get more points. You also get square Tetris, which I didn't like. It's it's the only game mode I didn't like out of all of them. In Rust, aside the many game modes, you also get many different backgrounds that look good, and the controls are very good. Also, the game has many fresh Tetris soundtracks, which also sound good. It's a great Tetris game. I liked it. Tetris Advance is a Japanese exclusive game. In this game, you get an endless mode, a time attack, and a challenge mode, where you get all sorts of challenges. But unlike the other one, this one felt like you do the same stuff, while in Tetris Worlds, with those many different types of play, it felt different. So here, even if you get challenges, it feels like you do the same stuff anyway. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.